Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Accounts Gurukul, Learn Accounting Online. So today we are here with one more video and this video we have created based on the request of our viewers and from the request has been there from the, since so many days asking us to create some series of videos on the ratio analysis. So we are here with that. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the ratio analysis introductions what are all the lists of ratios are there? In addition to that, what's the advantages and limitations of ratio analysis? So that's all we are going to discuss in this video. And uh, if you guys want to connect with us, then you can connect with us on our email ID. That's accounts.gurukul at the rate yahoo.com. If you want any specific training from our end, we are happy to do that. So now, Request viewers to watch the video till the end and like the video, join with us, share the video and subscribe our channel to get the more practical knowledge related to accounting and finance. So here we are. Introduction to ratio analysis. So now the ratio analysis is a widely used tool of financial analysis. Why the ratio analysis we use in our accounting and finance is that for the financial analysis to do the financial analysis it is defined as the systematic use of ratio to interpret the financial statement so that the strengths and weaknesses of a firm of a company of an entity as well as its historical performance and current financial conditions can be determined through the ratio analysis, by knowing the financial statements and MIS, we are not able to get the, that much hold on that. So in addition to that, if we do a certain ratio analysis, then we are able to know that what's the strength and weakness of that particular entity and how, how is the historical performance of that and what's the current financial conditions and how it's going to be into the futures. So this entire things we are able to do based on the ratio analysis. So considering that, the ratio analysis is very essential for us to know and to do ratio analysis. Ratio make the related information comparable. So whatever information are there through this ratio analysis, it's going to give the comparative analysis or comparable numbers for us. A single figure by itself has no meaning, but when expressed in terms of related figures, it adds significant interference. Perfectly mentioned is that only the PL numbers and balance sheet numbers from the financial statements are not going to give the more visibility, clarity to us. But when we do the ratio analysis, then it's going to give the more significant inferences of that numbers. And thus, ratio are relative figures reflecting the relationship between related variables. So considering that it's essential for us to know and to do the ratio analysis to understand the better performance of your entity, historical performance of your entity and how it's going to in a current situations. That's all we are able to do through the ratio analysis. They're used as tools for of financial analysis involves their comparison as a single ratios like absolute figures are not of much use. A ratio is of two numbers and is an expressions of relationship between the figures which are not of much use. So that's the benefit of, that's the meaning of ratio analysis. A ratio is a major of two numbers and is an expression of relationship between the figures of two amounts, how the ratio is going to be, what the ratio is going to be, how a measure of two numbers and is an expression of relationship between the figures or two amounts. It indicates a quantitative relationship which is used for qualified judgment and decision making. The relationship between two accounting figures as known as accounting ratio. But what, for what we have to see the accounting ratio is that the relationship between the two accounting figures is known as accounting ratio. So that's the brief introductions to ratio analysis. In addition to that, these may be compared with the previous year or base year ratios. 
of the same form ratios indicate the relationship between the profits and capital employed ratios may be expressed in a three forms one as a current one is to one or two is to one as a rate that is inventory turnover as a number of times in a year and as a percentage ratio analysis is useful to shareholders creditors and executives of the company the ratio analysis are helpful for shareholders creditors and executives of the company now what are all the list of ratios so if you see here the uh, we have the n number of list we try to capture here one liquidity ratio in that liquidity ratio we are going into the depth to know that how many all other ratios are there quick ratios cash ratios all these things efficiency ratio market prospect ratio coverage ratio asset turnover ratio cash ratio contribution margin ratio days sales in inventory debt service ratio dividend payout solvency ratio profitability ratio financial leverage ratios receivable turnover ratio cash conversion cycle compound annual growth rate current ratio debt ratio debt to equity ratio dividend yield ratio wherever it's mentioned the ratio so we have to go into the depth and to know how many ratios are there in this liquidity ratios the next in addition to that earning per share ebitda equity multiplier equity ratio fixed charge coverage ratio cross margin ratio interest coverage ratio internal rate of return inventory turnover ratio net income times interest on ratio net working capital operating margin ratio payable turnover ratio price earning p e ratio profit margin ratio quick ratio asset test ratio retention rate return on asset return on capital employment employed return on equity working capital ratio so these are all the n number of ratios are there so we are going to create a more videos on that considering the each and every ratio by taking into the actual financial statement or mis and how the ratio you are going to calculate so that's also we are going to come up with the more videos on that what are all the advantage of ratio analysis the special advantage of working out accounting ratio is that performance and financial position can be properly judged the main advantage and the best advantage or you can say the top advantage of accounting ratio analysis are so following are some important advantages of ratio analysis the first is going to be help for decision making process then how once we have the ratio analysis in place we are able to take the decisions related to the business process or decision making processes diagnosis of financial ills so we are able to make the controls when we have the ratio analysis once we know how much is a inventory turnover ratio giving the one example for that and if it's a inventory turnover ratio is too much and there should not be part of too much age inventory and we have to be do some corrections over there evaluations of financial performance based on the ratio analysis we are able to do the evaluation of the financial performance short and long term planning based on the ratio analysis we are able to do the short term and long term planning that's also the one added advantage of ratio analysis and study of financial trends based on the historical data current data and prediction towards the futures we are able to do the study of financial trends and that's all all advantages of ratio analysis now what are all the limitations of ratio analysis the first reliability of ratio depends upon the reliability of the original data information collected so whatever we have collected the information or information for do the ratio analysis so we are reliable on that so that's the reliability of ratio depends upon the reliability of the original data information collected increase decrease and constant changes in the price distort the comparison over period of years so increase decrease we have to and constant changes in the price we do the comparison over the period of years 
the benefits of ratio analysis depends on correct interpretations. Many times it is observed that due to small errors in original data, it leads to false conclusions. So very essential to know that when you guys are going to do the ratio analysis, whatever you are collecting the data for that, that the data is the one source through which we have to do the ratio analysis. And if there is any small errors happen related to the collection of data or original data, then the, your all ratio analysis is going into the different directions. So it's essential for no the source of information on which you are doing the calculations, you are doing the ratio analysis should be the perfect and accurate and correct one, or else it's going to be leading to the end number of errors, errors and all these things. A ratio analysis is not an ultimate yardstick for assessing the performance of the firm. If there is window, tracing then the ratios calculated will fail to give the correct picture and it will be mismanagement so these are all the limitations of the ratio analysis so that's all guys from this video and uh, what we learn from this video about the ratio analysis is that what's the introduction of ratio analysis list of ratios what the advantages of ratio analysis and what are all the limitations of the ratio analysis we are going to create a more videos related to what we how understood list of ratios for each and every ratios we are going to take and uh, into examples and we are going to understand that and uh, we'll going to take the practical example as well how we are going to do the ratio analysis for using that ratio on uh, having the financials data with us so thanks guys once again for the watching the video till the end and uh, the request to be was to like the video share the video join with us and subscribe our channel to get the more knowledge related to accounting and finance and you can reach to us on our email id accounts.kurukul at the rate yahoo.com if you want to go for any training or if you want any specific knowledge related to accounting and finance 